Hey guys, this is Chubbs bringing you commentary from an excellent game Lennox and I played last night in RTS Doom from the new Alpha 1.1 version that's going to be coming up soon. This was a uh, an epic back and forth match and I, I really wanted to show you guys this and talk you through it and uh, show you some of the new features too. So over in my screen you'll see that I'm just going with a very basic build, just a power plant refinery. But I also have a kennel, and I'm going to use that kennel very early on to produce one attack dog. And the reason I send out only one is there's a new gameplay mechanic, and it consists of a flag in the middle of the map. You can see it over on my screen. And if one of your units crosses the middle where that flag is, its color changes to match your teams and you get an extra $10 per second. And the good thing is you maintain that bonus until one of your enemy's units does the same thing. Something that Lennox did that was really good though is he purchased a radar dish. If you look in the upper right hand corner of his screen, you'll see that he has a picture in picture camera view of the middle of the map. Thanks to that, he saw my dog coming in, so we, he went ahead and over on his screen you can see where he just purchased a Tesla coil base defense. He currently doesn't have enough power to purchase any units, so had he not made that choice, had he not purchased that defense, uh, this rush with the uh, one attack dog could have very well ended the game for him. But uh, my attack dog did fall victim to that Tesla coil, so now I'm having to go back to square one. Over in his base, he's still in a bad situation in terms of power. He has none uh, because he has no power plants. And over in my base, I'm actually, I'm doing fairly well. I've got uh, sufficient power, I've got a good income, and I have a barracks, and I'm starting to produce some units too. You'll also notice that I have a uh, radar dish of my own, and I've also upgraded it, which is why it's now switching camera views periodically uh, and showing me what's in his base so I can sort of see what he's up to. At this point in the game, he was uh, really v very vulnerable, and I should have taken better advantage of this because without any power, you can't train any units. Uh, I did not take advantage of this like I should have, and uh, you'll see that I actually end up paying for it dearly. So over, uh, over in my base, I put up a war factory and a Tesla coil over in his base. He's finally getting some power plants up to get his power going so that he can train some, uh, train some armor from that war factory he created. This war factory is now a super war factory. And I think you pretty much know what that means. If he has three refineries and a super war factory, uh, that probably means he's going for giant mechs. It's also night time now. I have a day night cycle in the game. And my uh, infantry that I trained from my barracks a little earlier are just now arriving at his base, but uh, he has a surprise in store for me here. So you can see my rocket soldier battling his Tesla coil until this tank arrives. He purchased a battle tank. Great timing there by him. And that one tank will uh, basically take take control of his tunnel and uh, clear out all of my infantry inside it. You can see it in action. It, it took a rocket, uh, but it's still ticking and it's going right through. And now you'll see over his over on his screen he's purchasing giant mechs. This is where things start to get a little bit ugly for me and I realize I'm in trouble. Because if you notice over on my screen when I switch over to my war factory every now and then, it's still a basic war factory. I don't even have a super war factory yet, so I can't produce mechs. So at this point, despite me controlling the middle of the map, I'm at a disadvantage. I can't produce mechs. He can, and he has. So his mechs are uh, on his way out of his tunnel right now. And he's trying to fight his way out of his tunnel and towards the middle of the map to uh, gain control of that flag and start approaching my base. So at this point, I, I more or less realize I'm in trouble. I'm trying to produce as much units, or as many units as I can, and with as much variety as possible. I'm, I'm pumping out vultures, battle tanks, hellhounds, uh, infantry, jetpack troopers, I mean, you name it, I, I'm just about making it. But over on his screen, you can see he still has three uh, giant mechs coming out, and I just, I just don't have enough to deal with that. Now if you look over at my screen, you can see the uh, mechs he has 
going to work on my jetpack troopers. I'm producing some, some good, a good amount of tanks now, sending out some more hellhounds. The trouble is, at this point in the game, because he has upgraded his refineries, if you'll notice, even with my middle dominance, he's actually getting as much money as me. This is a this is really a big problem. I have two refineries. He has three. Uh, had I had I built a third refinery and upgraded it, that could have been a uh, something that could have really shifted things because I would have then had more money. So you can see there, there's still a there's a pretty good battle going on at the entrance to his tunnel, but. He did get one giant mech out to the middle of the map and he now has control. One of my vultures crossed the middle. I got control back, but you'll see that that, uh, that doesn't last very long. So he has some tanks coming across. Now he has control of the middle. So there's a nice back and forth battle there for uh, at least for a few seconds. Now we're uh, awaiting the next epic battle. He still has a big cluster of tanks coming my way and some mechs behind them. I have one mech, just one mech fighting off this big force, but as you can see, the mech just fell and uh, I really don't have a whole lot to answer to his mechs right now. So I'm, I'm in trouble at this point. I sort of realize that, uh, you know, because he has mechs, I'm, I'm in trouble, and he has uh, actually more money than I do right now. You see it's starting to, uh, outside here, starting to turn dark. I finally took out one of his mechs with a vulture, and this is one of the only times that I finally got the middle back during this, the course of the later game, so I finally got the middle back I got some hellhounds and some vultures moving in but once again he has like three or four mechs coming out of his tunnel and those are not gonna have any trouble dealing with that see I, once again one of my mechs just bit the dust I, I just don't have enough mechs to compete with his and he took the middle back so I had I had control only briefly so thanks to his middle dominance, he has $40 coming in per second. I only have 30. This is going to become a big problem because he can afford more mechs. And at this time, I'm, ha I'm having trouble affording any mechs at all. Even to get one or two mechs is good for me. Whereas he can have uh, three or four or more at any time out there. Something you'll probably notice though is he's, he's still sort of stuck in the entrance uh, or at the entrance to my base there at my tunnel he's he's having trouble breaking into that tunnel because I've got a good stream of units coming out even though I've not been able to really match him in terms of overall power or number of mechs I'm still holding him back and that that's pretty good so as you can see we're uh, at this point, we're really just waging a big war out in the middle of the map, out in the darkness. But he did prevail, and his mechs are now finally pushing their way into my tunnel. He just now broke through. This is basically one of the first times in the game that he broke through the uh, tunnel. And this is when things start to get very, very ugly for him. So he has, uh, what is it, three or so mechs coming my way? I'm in trouble at this point. I don't really have an answer to this. And I'm just hoping I can hang on here. I have a mech of my own, and I'm still producing some vultures and battle tanks. I'm trying to keep him contained in my tunnel as long as I can. Or at least just long enough to be able to think of something to do. But it's it's just not working out too well. So now he's uh, he's mixing in some tanks with his mix. 
And battle tanks, really, they're, they're still very good units. Even though they can't take on mechs unless you have a big force of them, they pretty much can take on just about every other unit in a one-on-one -on -one situation. So their mech, uh, battle tanks, although they're not as good as mechs, they're still very powerful units and nice to have in your army. So he has a he has a big force coming in right now. You can see it over on my screen. He has a big big force of tanks, and mechs, and uh, all I have to answer to that is just a uh, couple vultures and tanks. Obviously, that's not going to be enough to get the job done. And once again, I'm faced with the situation of multiple mechs entering my tunnel, coming towards my base, and this is where this is the point of the game where I realize, you know what, I've got to do something here. So I sell one of my refineries. I did have three finally. And in place of that, I'm going to put down a barracks again. I already had a barracks earlier, but I sold it. And I'm going to start throwing in some rocket soldiers, mix them with my mix. I figured, you know, maybe if I mix in some rocket soldiers to act as cannon fodder and to fire out some missiles, maybe that'll help turn the tide a little bit. But he's still getting a ridiculous amount of money, $40 per second. Uh, you can just compare how much money we currently have in the upper left-hand corner of both of our screens. And he definitely, he has a lot more money than I do. Plenty to spend. Purchasing mechs is no problem. And uh, what it all boils down to is mechs are the best unit in the game. And if, if you can afford a whole lot of them, you're probably going to win. So he has a, a big squad of mechs, again, coming through the middle of the map. At this point, I, I'm containing him still at the middle, at the uh, entrance to my tunnel. But that that won't last for long because uh, one of my mechs just died, and at this point, I'm just left with a few rocket soldiers and tanks that I just purchased. So over on his screen, you can see now he's he he just produced some more tanks and he pr produced another mech too. He's just he's keeping it coming. So here's where he's he's basically knocking on my door. I decide, you know what? If I don't do something, I'm done for. So I sell my radar dish. I replace it with a Tesla coil. And I hope that by upgrading both of my Tesla coils, that they'll be able to hold his forces off. And then I just start pumping out just any units I can afford. I don't have a whole lot of money. Anything I can get my hands on, I want to throw at him to, to get him out of my base because he's getting really close now. starting to turn dark again I I keep changing my mind I sold my barracks put up another refinery and at this point I know that I've got to I've got to do something I've got to pump out armor hold him back as long as I can my one of my Tesla coils just went down all I'm left with is one Tesla coil and some tanks versus an army of mechs see basically it speaks for itself at this point he's marching into my base not left with a whole lot and this single Tesla coil is just not not enough to get the job done so this is where it uh, this is where it ends here so he, he marches one of his mechs right into my bunker and he wins the game so all I can say is hats off to Lennox for a, a great game and excellent strategy